Armstrong, and in this uh, video I'm going to show you my boat, the Catamaran Magama. As you see, it is a big space. I'm from the Tonga, and I'm from the Tonga's As you see, I have a lot of space here. That's rather rare on a boat, but that's the main takeaway from this boat, that there is lots of lots of space. So whether you're alone or a big family, or you're creating events on this boat, So let me take you inside the boat. Yeah, let's actually point this one out first. There's a camera here, which is useful when we're parking the boat or when we're backing up. So just uh, one small thing there. Of course, there's lots of storage areas, lots of details to show here. So I'm going to give you the big overview. So let's go inside. As you see here, it's very open. This window, of course, opens up also, so that when we are enjoying the big kitchen, we are definitely part of, of the gathering, or part of, of the boat life in general. We're very open, we're not tucked away. Uh, we've remodeled all of this, so the kitchen is entirely new. All uh, electric uh, appliances, we have an air fryer, we have a big oven, a microwave, and an induction plate there. We have a dishwasher, uh, so to get all your dirty uh, plates uh, out of the way, we have uh, filtering uh, uh, section here so that we can uh, get filtered water from the tanks and we also have this big here fridge and freezer so as you see this is a big American style uh, fridge plenty of room for all your good food in here and there's also an ice, ice maker here so you can get ice right up here so if you want you guys can just press in there and we will have ice popping up all over the place. I'll put that over there now and clean that up. Anyhow, so that's the kitchen. Over here is the indoor dining area or workspace, of course. You can sit very comfortably working here also. And that's not what we're going to do now. And anyhow, so of course, this window opens up also. So you can see the outside, we're getting a breeze coming in. Moving on. Here is the main office space. As you see, this integrated uh, iMac 27 integrates right into the home station. And uh, together with what you see out there, maybe out, outside the window, there is a um, Starlink satellite dish called Dishy. And that gives me unlimited internet connection all over Europe. Up here we can see the uh, Victron system, the electrical systems. There's a lot of smart home features here. We can monitor our electricity usage, stuff like that. And there's the router. Plenty of those kind of things going on. So let's go downstairs. As you see on down here, this is the, um, uh, the heating panel right there. So it's, uh, if it gets cold, you can enjoy anyway. On both sides here, there are cabins, four equal cabins. And as you see, there is plenty of space to enjoy here. There's a double, um, double bed. And as I mentioned, I'm rather big, but I feel fit comfortably in this bed. No problems at all. And uh, there's also plenty of storage space here. 220 outlets and um, yeah, plenty of windows and plenty of lights also. Open this up. Just a second. You can open this up here. Get in even more air and even more light. There, so plenty of that. These lights here have USB outlets. There is an air conditioning unit right here. There is a little fan, 
12 volt based fan. There is that room. An electric toilet and storage. And of course, the shower. And there's really good water pressure here thanks to a foam pump that is also nearly silent. That's rather unique on a boat because in most boats it sounds like somebody starts drilling when you, you turn on the water. But in this boat we've put a lot of effort into that so you hardly hear the water pump working. That's a good thing. There's also plenty of storage here. We have some cabins. So sorry, cabins. Uh, uh, over here so when you open those you see light so there's plenty of space for lots of clothing in there and also of course we have storage underneath the bed and all that stuff so let's move on right. here's also storage lots of storage um, and here's another room over there so let's go in there as you see all the cabins have a bit of styling that is different but mostly it's the sa same thing with um, plenty of light plenty of windows and um, yeah the bathroom again electric toilets and the shower so let's go outside and take a look on what's happening there of course, I can show you two more rooms that are down there, but we've done that. We've done two rooms now. So let's move on and look outside. Actually, I want to show you this area down here. It's a bit of a mess right now, but as you see, there's lots of storage space there also. So space is the main takeaway on this boat. There's so much space everywhere. All right, moving on. Here's where we usually have the dingy. So if this thing falls down, uh, falls down so you can pull up the dinghy or pull down the dinghy. Right here we have the motor compartment. There are two 50 horsepower motors on this boat, uh, one on each side of course. And we also have a water maker, which is on the other side. But let's go and uh, upstairs. Now this area is the fly bridge, very popular area hang about. Of course you can sit here while you're steering the boat. You can also hang about here enjoying the sun. And uh, you have access to the boom, the lazy bag and the mainsail of course. You can also see here on the sides we have the uh, solar panels. They're newly installed, working rather well. And, uh, and there, you can step on these, not a problem. They're made for stepping on, so they're, they're sturdy, not a problem. The Bimini was just installed a few days ago, so brand new, right? And um, yeah, this boom is rather high, so that could be an issue when you're working with it. But we have made a system here with the hooks so you can uh, actually you know, close the lazy bag in an easy way so that I will show you on the sea trial when we get to that. All right moving on up here we have room for moving about. Here's there's also room for actually sitting and enjoying on the front here. So here we can sit and enjoy the view also. Plenty of space and um, yes, this one does fold back also. Go. Oh, okay, no, well, I'll continue the video. Don't worry, don't worry. I won't fall asleep. But I'm very comfortable up here. And of course, I have a wonderful view of keeping a lookout at the dolphins, right? So, moving on. Sorry. So, up there, we also. Oops! Oh no, no accidents. They're Harkin winches, both yeah. new, uh, not from 2015 when the boat was built, newly installed, working very well. Here we have one manual winch also, and here's the other big, big winch. And uh, let's see if it's connected now, but I think it is. Yeah, there we go, works very well. 
Yeah, all good. All the ropes yeah, are new. Party, birthday. Birthday parties, of course, yes, we can have birthday parties here. And we can have lunches, dinners, uh, yeah, whatever, lots of space. We can enjoy things. There's also plenty of storage space. So, for example, down here, yeah. there's lots and lots of storage space. These are actually listed as uh, cabins for crew, but we, of course, don't put our crew in here. lots and lots of an effort every time you open a, a cabin or open a hatch it has these gas springs that which allows everything to be very comfortably and uh, comfortable and secure yep so this is the anchor we have a hundred meters of chain so yeah you can anchor even in the water all right let's do that again Beetroot, for example, this cleans off very nice. I have done that. I've spilled beetroot on these things and they're still bright and white. Here's something very unique on this boat, a washing machine. So you see, again, there's plenty of space here and we put the washing machine there. It works beautifully and you don't hear it that much. I mean, you hardly hear it at all. So that's something very important. On the other side, and stuff like that that we're not using and down here is the access to the chain also 100 meters of chain as i mentioned all right that is the end of the tour i think um, so um, next step is welcoming you welcoming you to the sea trail of course wind glass we want to show the wind glass so, right, please the wind glass. There's wind glass in here very important piece of equipment it's new new yes also new and refurbished uh, and replaced all the inner parts of actually no the whole thing is re replaced so yeah working very well and uh, very important part of it part of the boat. so i think that's the end yeah of course all the sails sails keep forgetting it. there's so many things to show on this boat.
here. Thank you very much.